all careful, careful, careful. Welcome to the Adam Avell YouTube channel. Today we have got this from Sainsbury's, but it's not Sainsbury's own product. This is Pots and Co. Pots and Co. Never heard of them before. And I saw these on social media, then I saw them in Sainsbury's. And there were three different flavors that should be on the screen now. There was a salty caramel, <sighs> salty caramel. There was a lemon posset or lemon flavor one. And there was this double chocolate ganache. So why, I hear you ask, did I pick the chocolate ganache? If you haven't worked it out already, the other two were two pound. This one, <clears throat> one pound 50. This is an intensely chocolatey double layered dessert handmade using the finest sustainably crafted Colombian chocolate taste bud heaven. Now there's some brilliant descriptive words in there. Colombia uh, sustainably crafted taste bud heaven, intensely chocolatey. And this company, what, what did I say they were called? Pots and Co. They are based in London. There's not no other company, they're not a branch of another company. They're an independent dessert maker. And we like to promote independent companies on this channel. It's something we don't do a lot of, enough of, because sometimes the supermarkets don't always have independent stuff. Although they are getting better at it, and we're probably not just looking hard enough. These are new. They are new, and as I said, this little pot was £1.50. And I noticed on the ingredients, they're using 80% dark chocolate, 80% cocoa, dark chocolate. Normally it's around 70%, 80% is quite high. And that makes up 60%, 61% of the ingredients. The rest is all milk and cream and sugar, as you'd expect. And it comes in one of these little glass pots, like a goo, like a goo dessert. The only thing is, I've done one of these from Sainsbury's before, not one of this brand, a similar dessert from Sainsbury's or Aldi, something like that. You don't, you don't get a lid, you get a plastic lid. And a glass, oh, that smells nice. And a glass pot, so maybe it could be used as an ashtray in the garden. If you like a cigarette every now and again, I don't personally, there's something green on this, look. That's probably a bit of parsley left over from my dinner. But it does smell nice, but you could use the pot for something or just recycle it, I don't know. We are gonna dive in, it says it's double layered. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick that up. There is a two-tone layering of the chocolate, and I'm not too sure. I'm missing something on the description. I'm, I'm not quite sure. It's got sea salt in it. Me and Adam were discussing about uh, using salt in chocolate. It's going to be the new thing, salted chocolate. Every good chef on the television will tell you if you're melting some chocolate down or making any sort of chocolate dessert, sprinkle some salt in, because apparently it brings out the flavour of the chocolate even more. So if within the next year or two, everyone's going mad for salted chocolate like they are for salted caramel, Jamie Oliver was doing it 20 years ago, and there's probably other chefs doing it even longer before then. I can't see why this is a double dessert. There's not a lot there, 80 grams, but it's probably very rich and indulgent and intensely chocolatey, like they said, and for 80% cocoa, it should be. I have not stopped talking. I can't wait to eat it. It's got like a mo thick mousse consistency, like a ganache. And there is definitely two layers there, but um, it just says double layered. Oh, wow. That is without doubt the strongest flavored chocolate I've ever tasted. And I know now why there's not a lot of it, but that's superb. That is absolutely superb. I can't. This may not be for everyone. It is very, very strong chocolate. As I say, it's got that strong bitterness, but really nice dark cocoa flavoring. Like really nice. And see what the lighter color one, if that's a milkier chocolate, definitely a milkier one. And then if you just get some of the top one, this might hurt. This might hurt, that's why it's double layer. Cause if you just have 80% chocolate, that's gonna hurt your cheek, surely. Yeah. It's it's almost a bit too strong, but because it's got the milkier layer below it, they balance each other out nicely. I'm gonna eat all this live on air. 
and I've not got one complaint from that. I think two pound as an initial price is maybe a bit too steep, but then it is indulgent and it's rich, expensive desserts, and you're not gonna get a, through a big vat full of that, because you, you don't need to. You don't need anything with it. It is the perfect size pot. I feel like I've had a proper dessert, and I've had a massive, massive cocoa hit from that 80% dark chocolate to the point where next time I make something chocolatey, which has been about once in my 51 years on this planet, rather than use 70%, I'm gonna go 80% because that's really, really tasty. Look out for them in your local Sainsbury's or probably online, Pots & Co. They've probably got their own shop or website somewhere. So well done, Pots & Co. For more videos where we finish the pot off during filming, don't forget to like and subscribe.